Good morning, folks. We've got a new sunspot group developing, a volcano, Mars, more magnetic animals, and a run through the top cosmology papers on archive from last night. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and find a quiet last 24 hours on our star. You can see the new active region glowing bright top left, but no other features of note but for the coronal holes in black. The solar wind continued blowing above average, but with a drop from the stream peak which leaves Earth in minor reverberations only. Let's pull focus back to our star and watch the birth of that sunspot group. It has yet to produce any solar flares in its infancy, but it does present a magnetic split longitudinally, which could develop some magnetic complexity if it grows any further. Meanwhile, we've got continuing coronal holes turning through. This middle region is somewhat sparse, but the hole south of the new sunspots on the left does appear solid and will face us through the weekend. We do have a volcanic concern in Vanuatu as evacuations are on the doorstep with up to one centimeter of ash fall across the island. And speaking of volcanoes, this might have been a Martian supervolcano long in the past. Evidence for it being an impact crater appears to be conflicted by the most recent data on the region. Nice little read about the future of satellites. A 22-pound CubeSat that can offer detailed information about the brightness of nearby stars in the galaxy. This is its first return. This could detect exoplanets even Kepler can't see. Today's top story is a bit of a move over birds, whales, insects, dogs, and deer. Turtles have joined the group of magnetically influenced fauna, and it is indeed how they find their way home each year, to the same area where they were born. Magnetic imprint at birth can unfortunately be disrupted by many human activities, and if I may, that would likely be true of the global field changes as well. Good article accompanying this video from Chapel Hill. Let's take a look at cosmology and oh, ouch, it was another bad day for dark matter. So we recently saw Andromeda's halo lacking the dark matter signal they were expecting and now in our home galaxy, where they say our dark matter halo is the brightest source of certain annihilations in space, it also shows no evidence of what they were expecting. While scale and variant specific theories are not where we've focused, this paper claims the math on them outperforms the lambda cold dark matter model in many cases. And along a similar line, MOND, with Professor McGaw from our interview video discussing how it fits into the galaxy discovered without dark matter. And last but not least, no shyness in this paper title, falsifying dark matter models, but also proclaiming discrepancies in the high redshift galaxy data. That is definitely something to keep an eye on, basically everything over Z1. We've got the first day of big storms in the United States included in the wind maps. We've also got shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.